Help the humans about to escape. Get your paws off me, you dirty ape. I want to be clear. I am. He can talk. 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 I can sing. The combat is threat on behalf of our kids. I'm open to all sorts of new ideas. To make sure that we deal with climate change in a way that promotes jobs and growth. Somebody has a monopoly on what is a very hard problem. But I don't have much patience for anyone who denies that this challenge is real. We don't have time for a meeting of the Flat Earth Society. Sticking your head in the sand. Only we will be judged as a people, as a society, and as a country. There's no peace treaty to sign. When President Kennedy said we'd go to the moon within the decade, we knew we'd build a spaceship and we'd meet the goal. Our progress here will be measured differently, in crises averted, in a planet preserved. But can we imagine a more worthy goal? For while we may not live to see the full realization of our ambition, we will have the satisfaction of knowing that the world we leave to our children will be, be better off for what we did. It makes you realize that astronaut said all those years ago, just what you have back there on Earth. And that image in the photograph, that, that bright blue ball rising over the moon's surface, containing everything we hold dear, the laughter of children, a quiet sunset, all the hopes and dreams of posterity, that's what's at stake. That's what we're fighting for. And if we remember that, I'm absolutely sure we'll succeed. So thank you. God bless you. God bless the United States of America.
Now, the, here, here's, here's the, the sad thing. Lately, we've heard a lot of professional politicians, a lot of the folks who are, you know, running for a certain office, <laughs> who shall go unnamed, they've been talking down new sources of energy. They dismiss wind power. They dismiss solar power. They make jokes about biofuels. They were against raising fuel standards. I guess they like gas guzzlers. They think that's good for our future. We're trying to move towards the future. They, they want to be stuck in the past. And we've heard this kind of thinking before. Let me tell you something. If some of these folks were around when Columbus set sail, They, 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 they must have been founding members of, of the Flat Earth Society. They, they would not have believed that the world was round. We've heard these folks in the past. Uh, they, they, they probably would have agreed with one of the pioneers of, of the radio who said, uh, television won't last, it's a flash in the pan. But one of Henry Ford's advisors was quoted as saying, the horse is here to stay, but the automobile is only a fan. <laughs> that there have always been folks like that. There have always been folks who are the naysayers and don't believe in the future and don't believe in trying to do things differently. You know, one of my predecessors, uh, Rutherford B. Hayes, reportedly said about the telephone, it's a great invention, but who would ever want to use one? <laughs> you know, that, that's why he's not on Mount Rushmore. Because he's, he's looking backwards, he's not looking forwards. He's explaining why we can't do something instead of why we can do something. The point is, there, there will always be cynics and naysayers who just want to keep on doing things the same way that we've always done them. They, they want to double down on the same ideas that got us into some of the mess that we've been in. But that's not who we are as Americans. See, America's always succeeded because we refuse to stand still. We put faith in the future. We are inventors, we are builders, we are makers of things. We are Thomas Edison, we are the Wright brothers, we are Bill Gates, we are Steve Jobs. That's who we are. That's who we need to be right now.